Hello. Yikes. <clears throat> Hi guys, where do I start? Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a while. It's been a while. I do have another video filmed, but I don't know if I'm gonna post it because, ooh, it was not, it's just, it's just been a lot. And today I'm going to show you how I style my crazy freaking hair. So maybe about eight months ago, I posted a video, I don't know, seven months ago, eight months ago, I don't know, it's July now. How is it July? So a while ago, I posted a video about how I style my frizzy, thick, crazy coarse hair. Um, in that video, I just styled my hair with a flat iron pretty much and that's just typically how I used to style my hair and I still do that on occasion um, not super often but every once in a while I still do because I like the way that that looks um, as well as the way that I style my hair now so I just wanted to say that in that video I literally was just about to start styling my hair and I was like oh I'm gonna film this because whatever I just want to film it. So I hadn't planned anything for that video. I hadn't prepared anything. I literally was just like, oh, I'm just going to film myself doing this because maybe some people would like to see it. I didn't expect to even have a hundred people watch that video, but it's gotten a little bit more attention than I had assumed it would. So I feel like there's a lot of people on my channel now that are interested in hair videos and styling your hair videos, maybe. So I didn't expect to get so much feedback on that video as I did and I appreciate all the feedback. I love it. I love reading everybody's comments. I love communicating with you guys. I love seeing that so many people have similar hair texture to mine. I love seeing your suggestions and reading. Like literally, I just love it. It's amazing. Some of the comments were asking or saying that they were looking for a video that didn't use heat, which I 100% get. A lot of people use heat on their hair, just saying. Like that is just the way that people are told to style their hair. I do think it's really good to not style your hair with heat. Obviously, it's damaging, it's not good for your hair, duh. But you can still do it if you wanna do it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I have been styling my hair with no heat. Uh, my hair is very thick, very coarse, very frizzy delved into the curly girl method a bit. So I don't abide by all of the rules of the curly girl method. I do follow a curly hairstyling technique. So that's what we're gonna do today. I don't think that it's perfect by any means. I'm not saying that this is a tutorial. I am saying that this is how I style my hair. I'll show you guys what my hair looks like. It is totally in desperate need of being washed. Um, I don't like to wash my hair frequently, so yeah, it's kind of gross right now, but this is what it looks like, not brushed, I did not style my hair, um, I washed my hair and I did not style it the last time that I washed it, I've honestly just been wearing it up for a couple days. I'm just going to brush it and show you guys what my hair looks like. Um, I don't think that you're ever supposed to brush your hair whenever you follow the curly girl method. This is what my hair looks like, pretty much, if you brush through it. It's just really, really fluffy, frizzy. The strands are literally like, but my hair is always like this. It's always like this. It's been like this since I was like, I don't know, maybe eight? I used to look like a triangle whenever I was in elementary school because my mom cut it all off because she didn't know what to do with it. So I finally learned a way to style my hair naturally. It is a curly method of styling your hair, a curly or wavy method. In order to do this, your hair needs to be clean and wet. So I'm gonna go take a shower. I'm gonna talk to you guys just about a few quick products, what I do in the shower, what I do after the shower. The shampoo that I use is the same shampoo that I showed you guys in my last video. It, I just, I don't know, I really like this shampoo. It works well for my hair. It is the Love Beauty and Planet 
shampoo. It is sulfate free. The only thing that makes it not Curly Girl approved is that it does have alcohol in it, but it is cruelty free, vegan, and it smells amazing. This one is the coconut milk and white jasmine one. It's called Divine Definition, made for curl and natural definition. And then while I'm in the shower, oh my gosh, it's so cold. Whenever I was in the shower, I like to use the Curl Talk 3-in-1 Conditioner. This one is a leave-in, rinse-out, and co-wash conditioner. So if you don't like to shampoo your hair, then you can use this for co-washing. I do it sometimes. Depends on how my hair is feeling. If it's feeling dry, I don't like to shampoo it. So I'll co-wash um, if I feel like my hair needs to be cleansed. But still needs that extra moisture. I used it as a conditioner and then washed it out and then I put more um, on my ends and it is still in my hair. I use it as a leave-in as well. I also use the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. I am running out of this and I need more. It's amazing. Put it on in the shower, leave it on for like 10 minutes or so and then wash it out. So this is the defining cream. I use this right whenever I get out of the shower, so I'm gonna use it right now. You wanna use it when your hair is really wet. And I'm just gonna put it on the ends of my hair. So this locks in moisture, defrizzes, and adds shine to define your true curls. So I'm just gonna put it in my hands, and then I'm just going to apply it to my hair without running my fingers through my hair because I don't want to separate any of the curls that will be coming through and i guess one of the biggest things is that i've learned not to put product on my roots although you want them to be moisturized you don't want to put them on your put product on your roots because it's gonna weigh your hair down I'm getting stressed out i feel like i have to do this so fast you do have a brush that i use in the shower it's called a denman brush and it's essentially like a curl styler brush and I only use it in the shower to detangle my hair and I guess the main purpose of it is that you can actually take the rows of um, bristles you can take the rows out depending on your curl type so it like doesn't separate your hair as much I guess but I do use that in the shower but after my hair is out of the shower no brushes um, unless of course you're not styling your hair this way, then I guess you can brush your hair. I'm going to apply a hair gel. A lot of people use mousse. I think I tried mousse whenever I was a teenager. I don't think that mousse is enough to hold my hair, if that makes sense. Now, hair gel. I started with the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk hair gel. I really liked it. It smells good. It feels good. It's not like sticky and gross and tacky. Um, I really liked it, but it is kind of pricey, especially if you're using a lot and I do use a lot. Um, so I felt like it was a little bit too expensive. So I went with this one. This is the LA Looks Extreme Sport. Holds 10 plus levels. This is Curly Girl approved because it is alcohol free. A lot of people really, really liked this product. So I was like, I'm gonna try it because it's like so much product for way less price wise. So it made sense to me and I really like it. I don't have any issues with it at all. So I'm gonna take a bunch of gel, put it in our hands and pretty much do the same thing that we did before with the cream. So yeah. It's a lot of gel and it's kind of gross, but you know what? It works. Your hair will thank you later. So, ton of gel in my hair now. Ooh, I hate the feeling of having stuff like in between my fingers. It drives me insane. A t shirt or a piece of cotton um, because you're gonna scrunch your hair essentially. Yeah, we're going back to um, middle school, beginning of high school. 2007 I don't know and uh, we're gonna start scrunching our hair you want to use a t-shirt or like cotton because towels I guess like all the little ringlets in the towels can like make your hair frizzy and like 
separate it out and you don't want it to be separated so there's lots of methods of doing this i kind of just like go up just mush it up against your head i typically like for my hair to air dry because it doesn't get as frizzy but a lot of people use hair dryers and diffusers and yep that's it so yeah as your hair is drying you just want to keep scrunching it you can kind of just scrunch it with your hands you don't have to keep scrunching it with the shirt although it's probably a safer bet so that like it doesn't stick to your hands whenever you scrunch because then that's when you start to get frizz. What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you having a nap? You just want to keep doing that for a long time. Continue to dry and I'm going to continue to scrunch it and then I'll be back at some point once my hair is dry and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's finished, which is exciting because uh, I hate having wet hair. I am one of those people that tends to put like all of their hair on one side of their head, even though I have so much hair. <sighs> Hi, hello. Let's talk about this. This is how my hair turned out after letting it dry for uh, approximately like two hours and like 10 minutes. But this is how my hair turns out currently. Um, every time I do it, it's different. It's never perfect. There's definitely still frizz, especially in the back. I think it's pretty. I have been thoroughly enjoying styling my hair naturally, naturally. Um, if I don't put any product in my hair, as you saw earlier, my hair is a disaster. It is just like, it's just a mess. So even though it's still a process to style it this way, at least there's no damage happening. Yeah, so this is it. This is how it looks. My hair has a lot of different textures, especially since I have bleached it and then I dyed it brown and just everything in between and also because that's just how it is naturally so i know that if you start um following a curly hair styling method that it does take some time for your hair to kind of adapt and shift back into its like natural curl or wave state my hair has definitely changed significantly since i started styling it this way but sometimes i do still use heat on my hair and i probably should just stop doing that altogether. to each their own i hope that you enjoyed this video um like i said like while you're while your hair is drying you just got to keep scrunching it to promote the curls and to kind of get rid of that gel hard cast that forms after it dries um, and then you're gonna end up having this. Yeah, like I said, like some of the hairs underneath are really coily. Some on the top are like just waves. There's no curl actually. I like to just kind of keep scrunching it, giving it volume, and that's it. I hope that this could be helpful for those of you who were looking for this from my first video. I think it's a pretty easy way to style your hair. I don't think that it will work for everybody. Obviously, everybody has different textures, but there are a lot of different types of curls and this routine might not work for you guys. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I have been styling my hair naturally and without heat. This is what it ends up looking like typically. Sometimes it looks different. Aside from all of the hair talk, I hope that you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I know that things have been really, really hard for a lot of people. I'm keeping you guys in mind. I'm thinking of you. I'm giving you love and good energy. And I hope that everybody is taking care of themselves and doing okay. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, of course, in the comments. I will absolutely answer any questions that i am capable of answering and yeah i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye